I need you to confront you because you're the one holding you up. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to continue to sabotage me. You're not going to keep procrastinating. You're not. You know you should be further in life, but you keep letting you slide. Hold you accountable and don't let you off the hook. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do proper threading from nigeria so trading has been a style that has been used by african women for years but if you go on this web or on youtube you're gonna see a lot of african trading videos that don't really show how we properly do african trading in africa or in nigeria let me say nigeria the way we do it is completely different from what has been shown and i decided to um, show you guys the proper way we do african trading or rather trading in nigeria it is completely different the technique is really completely different um, but some of the benefits are the same it helps to stretch your hair but it also helps to protect your hair the way Af a u.s citizens or the way non-africans do it is really really different there's a lot of gaps in the hair but in nigeria there are no gaps because the hair is protected um this video is particularly emotional for me because this video was actually supposed to be have been done by my mother the thursday that we were supposed to do it that we had planned to do it was the day we took her to the hospital and she never came back um, so she used to do it when i was younger and we didn't use the thread i'm going to show you we used the butterfly thread but right now butterfly thread is like i don't know where it is it's like it's scarce so i'll be showing you um the different thread that we use we also use wool nowadays to make it more fashionable that time it used to be like more like um, school students doing it but now it's really really fashionable because of the benefits of threading so you are going to see a totally different technique from what you used to so if you want to know the proper way to thread then keep on watching so the first step is to part your hair just like you are doing braids um so you um part your hair using your cotton comb uh, make sure to properly part and also make sure to detangle your hair if the hair is tangled um so you have to like properly tangle detangle your hair it makes everything a whole lot easier for you and after detangling you secure the hair um, I'll be using the African thread this is what it looks like um, you cut a section and then you fold it into two so I'm showing you how I've how long it is and how I folded it so I'm starting with the ends not the curved part and I will secure the base you have to make it tight but not tight tight if it's too tight it's going to give you bumps and it's going to make your hair pull out so you secure the base by placing the a small amount of the thread like the the top on the hair and then you wrap around the thread the hair and really secure the base so as you are wrapping around the base you are not going to leave any space and that's the difference between um Afri proper threading and the other methods you have seen most of the time they just secure the base a bit and then begin to wrap around with space but for threading that is done in nigeria you would secure the base and make sure that there's no space so you're going to use your thumb uh, to guide the thread and you make sure that it is like maybe I won't say it's on top because if it's on top it will be bulky but it's like just at the end of the previous one so the previous thread that was wrapped around no space 
you push guide with your hand and secure with your thumb so that it doesn't shift and you have a space so as you keep doing that you're wrapping around making sure there's no space between the first the previous wrapped around thread and the next and you guide with your thumb to put it in place so that as you are wrapping around it doesn't shift and you don't get space most people use threading especially the ones that you see to stretch the hair it's a heatless form of stretching the hair but in nigeria it's like a protective hairstyle it's a hairstyle most um a lot of secondary school students a lot of primary school students do it to actually make their hair neat and also help with growing their hair it's a protective hairstyle um so by wrapping it around without any space it helps to prevent moisture loss it also helps to um it also helps to protect the hair so each the hair doesn't have any chance of breaking most of the time it has less chances of breaking and it also helps to stretch the hair when you loosen it when we were growing up it was said that um treading was more would help your hair grow faster than just weaving your hair that's doing the cornrows but as i grew up i was like okay now i understand why it appeared that our hair was longer it's because it stretched it on like the cornrows that did not stretch the hair and the fact that um all section of your hair apart from the base is covered it also helps to prevent breakage it helps to prevent moisture loss so you continue wrapping around it can be quite tedious especially if you are just starting but if you see the women that have been doing it for years when they are wrapping around it's like wow 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 meaning they do it so fast that they can finish one section in like two minutes or three minutes but if you just started to make sure that there's no space you have to really like take your time secure it with your thumb and begin to wrap around um the hair so and towards the end of this video i will show you how to um attach another thread if the one you're using is too short and you still have a lot of hair so stick around um if you are not yet subscribed please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos so you continue wrapping around like i said and uh, making sure to secure it with your hand making sure that there's no space your thumb will help to guide it as you are wrapping around and also help to secure it that as you're wrapping around it is not shifting which is um what you don't want if you're doing the non-african way i would call that non-african way of trading where there are gaps you really don't need to um be so careful about not leaving any space you can in fact you create the space but for this we are doing a protective hairstyle not just for stretching so you continue wrapping around and as you even get to the end if your hair looks tangled you brush it to make it detangled and you continue wrapping till the end Got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in So when you get to the end you uh um, you can try to create a uh, more length by folding the um folding the thread and then wrapping it around um sometimes you just leave you might leave it it depends on um if you are going to wrap it the way um we normally wrap it if you especially if your hair is as long as this you continue wrapping um the thread 
and then when you get to the end you create a loop with your fingers and then you pass in the other thread like you're creating a knot and secure it you try to make sure that as you're securing the knot you are guiding it to towards the end so it's not at the middle it's like towards the end end and then you stretch the thread uh, or the wool uh, on cut so this is what you have you have completely covered hair from the top to the bottom sometimes you might notice just a bit of hair at the end and i will show you how to secure it how it's normally secured for it to be as stylish as you see as you've seen and um, i'm just showing you i'm repeating the process like i said secure the end the base make it tight but not tight tight that you give yourself headache most of the time but let me be honest most of the time you have pain on your head or you feel pain in your head for about a day then the next day it's all gone but the hairstyle usually lasts depending for when we're in school when we're in secondary school um my mother used to do my hair for the first four months when i was trying to grow my hair and most of the time it used to last like i think one week or two weeks because she used to do like every two weeks so it used to last like two weeks then we lose it wash hair and then uh, she repeats the process so um some of the time it lasts two weeks sometimes you know, the style might last for four weeks depending on what is used and how uh, neat it was packed uh, and you understand what i mean by packing at the end of this video because you are going to see how it's usually packed that even the ends that was showing after i done the individual treading it's not going to be shown uh, rather you're not going to see it because it's going to be hidden there's a skill to it and unfortunately i don't have that skill but i will show you how it's done there'll be my treasures forever when i can't hold you tight i'll see the star come light the star come light the star come light So now I'm getting to the end of the previous thread and I told you guys I will show you how to attach another one. So when you get to a part where um, it's not long enough to wrap around, you add another thread and just like how you are trying, how you start when you are starting a thread, you put a small amount on the hair and then secure and then secure with your hand and wrap around just like as if you are just starting a thread or starting a new portion if you get what i mean and you continue wrapping make sure it's secured so that it will not loosen and after you've secured it for a while you might it might be bumpy but it's to make sure that it's secured and after it's secured you continue wrapping around like you were doing before so that will help to prevent it from loosening and it will also help you to continue your um continue the thread without having to like start all over and make a longer thread or yarn wool whatever it, you are using and that is just simply how to um, attach another thread to another one when the previous one is shot i hope you understand and if you understand please give this video a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to this channel because it is inspiring and it is educative and even though i'm not funny but um i believe you will learn some things by watching my videos so when you get to the end as usual make a loop secure it tightly make sure that the knot is at the end sometimes i like to do a double knot just because i'm being extra and um, after stretching after 
making the knot and stretching the thread i cut and that's basically all that you do to the thread it's like i said if you are not skilled in it it will take a while but when you're skilled in it it is quite easy to do and that is all so that is the previous one i'm trying to wrap it around but it is not my skill i don't know how to do that they usually make some great shapes with it um but i will show you that at the end of this video so if you like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to be part of the family subscribe by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon so that you're notified anytime i upload the videos so with all i said thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one so now i would like you to enjoy how um the thread is wrapped so that it is uh, secured properly I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night Wanna catch in my photos, where you go Every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights